I'm going out back, out back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. So here we go again, folks. Just to follow up on Kevin and Belinda's van, the Sully van, walls have gone up. So here we go. You saw the chassis before. Since then, it's come over to the other side of the, the um, shed, into the second factory, and the boys have put the floor down, they've put the vinyl on the floor, and they've just put these walls up. So during the course of today, the they'll start fitting the furniture. So if this area that I'm standing at right now is actually where the slide out's coming. So this van is getting a nice slide out from here. So we'll be able to do a little bit more on this as the furniture starts to be installed. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about these particular walls. So when I was talking to Kevin about it and he asking me, would I go for the sandwich panel composite or should I go for the aluminium frame? And of course, this is a tricky one. There are benefits for both products. In this case, we've gone for the composite panel for a couple of reasons. One is this van's going to be weight sensitive. So we want to keep the weight as low as we possibly can. So going for the aluminium chassis, the composite floor, and now the composite walls, we really are keeping that weight down. The other thing is that because it's got such a fantastic insulated floor, by insulating the walls with this sandwich panel, we're also going to keep this van very cool. Now, the, the, the children are going to be homeschooled in this so Belinda and the kids are going to spend a lot of time in here during the daytime a lot of this of course will be in the heat keeping it as cool as comfortable as possible is is a number one priority for for that so hence the selection for the composite uh, it wasn't selected for any other reasons than the fact that it weighs less and it's a much better insulator and work should work really really nicely for them so we'll come back again shortly uh, once we've got a little bit of furniture in this and we'll show you the uh, the next section. See you in a moment. So quick change, off with the hat and on with the shirt and on with the van. Come on down. So we're really getting stuck into it now so this is just one quick little update because in a blink you'll see even more happening. At this stage we're putting the back end in this van and whoa you can see the furniture starting to come to place already so the shower unit will be on very shortly. You ready? And in a tick, there'll be the next one. Here we go again. Let's have a look at what's happening with Kevin and Belinda's van. It's uh, all really happening now. So we've got the front section there. Their robes are all ready, ready for the bed to go in. And then we've got um, the galley here. They've got a beautiful silver splashback happening there in acrylic, which is kind of nice. And then the fridge beside it. So that's their galley. And then inside the van, we've got um, the ensuite down the end, which is still happening. Actually, let's go around this way. So we can actually see if we can have a look through here. I don't know if Matt can climb the stairs, but if he can. Can you do it, Matt? Oh, that's a big leap. Well done. So move, moving through. So we're inside the camera. No ceiling. Look, pull. We could almost call this a convertible, but we won't. Roof's going on soon. So inside here, the bunks are nearly in. And you can see right now why it's not happening any sooner, can't you? Because actually the staff's all having a break out there. Lord knows why, I think they think they actually do some work around here, but that's another question. Anyway, you ready? Because we're about to say, Let's wait for that. Another quick progress on the Sully van. Come and look inside. It's starting to take shape. Today the boys have managed to get the windows in. And we've done more on this galley. We've got this splashback happening. The sink's ready to go in. It's really starting to come along nicely. The overhead cupboards are in place. They've been working on the roof today. Uh, they've been working on the slide today. Um, I don't think come tomorrow we're going to recognize exactly what it looks like at the moment so we're still doing the convertible thing but not for much longer see you shortly for the next one